the dhamma chakra pavartana sutta is the first teaching given by the gautama buddha after he attained enlightenment the title of the sutta is translated as the setting in motion of the wheel of the dhamma This was delivered at Isipatana in Migadaya, the Deer Park. The main topic of this sutta is the Four Noble Truths, which refer to the basic orientation of Buddhism. This sutra, this sutta, also refers to the Buddhist concepts of the middle way impermanence and dependent origination dhamma or dharma can mean a variety of things depending on its context in this context it refers to the buddha's teachings or his truth that leads to one's liberation from suffering chakka or chakra can be translated as wheel the dhamma chakka is translated as dhamma wheel this symbolizes to buddha's teachings of the path to enlightenment pavartana is pavartana is translated as turning or rolling or setting in motion this symbolizes to this symbolizes the path to enlightenment as taught by the buddha <coughs> According to Buddhist tradition the Buddha attained enlightenment and liberation while meditating under the Bodhi tree by the Niranjara river in Bodh Gaya afterwards he remained silent for 49 days the Buddha then journeyed from Bodh Gaya to Saranath Saranath a small town near the sacred city of varanasi in central india there he met his five former companions namely kondanya vapp bhadya mahanama and asaji the ascetics with whom he had shared 6 years of hardship his former companions were at first suspicious of the buddha thinking he had given up his search for the truth when he renounced their ascetic ways but upon seeing the radiance of the buddha they requested him to teach what he had learned thereupon the buddha gave the teachings that was later recorded as the dhamma chakka pavartana sutta dhamma chakka pavartana sutta the four noble four re- true realities taught by the taught by the buddha are not things to believe but to be open to see and contemplate and respond to appropriately by fully understanding dukkha abandoning that which originates it personally experiencing its cessation and cultivating the path that leads to the cessation one becomes enlightened these four true realities are 
the four fundamental dimensions of experience seen by a spiritually noble person with deep wisdom. Indeed, it is by insight into these real these truths that a person becomes spiritually ennobled. Being the first sermon ever delivered by the Blessed One, it is the most ancient and the most straightforward of his teachings. Rea is the person amongst the laity who has not heard this discourse. Numerous are those who had committed this sutta into memory. <clears throat> this is certainly the most famous sutta in the Pali literature. This sutta is meant to convey the way to see the true nature of existence with wisdom, not with the physical eye. Only a Buddha can discover the true nature, but a human can comprehend it once properly. At the end of this sutta, Dhamma Chakkum Udapadi means I to see the Dhamma was born for the ascetic Kondanya. What this means is that the ascetic Kondanya attained the Sotapanna stage. In other words, he learned how to go against the stream. of some sara. At the end of the sutta, it shows that various types of devas and brahmas attended the delivery of the sutta. It is said that a large number of them attained various stages of Nibbana upon hearing this sermon. More significantly, this sutra lays out how one gains relief from the 31 realms of existence we are successfully attaining four stages of Nibbana. One has to comprehend the four truths in three rounds, Tiparivattang, and in twelve forms, Dvadasakaram. The sutra says, <coughs> Ime su chatu su ariya satche su evam tipari vattam dvadasa karam yataha bhutam jnana dasanam suvisuddham ahosi when my knowledge and vision of these four noble truths as they really are in their three phases and twelve aspects was thoroughly purified in this way, then I claim to have awakened to the unsurpassed perfect enlightenment in this world, in this generation with its ascetics and brahmins, its devas and humans. The knowledge and vision arose in me, unshakable is the liberation of my mind. This is my last birth, now there is no more renewed existence. Let us now listen to the chanting of this sutta as it will bring you to the presence of the Buddha as he when he delivered this sermon. May you be free from Dukkha. Thank you. 